Hi, my name is Andrea Petraska and I'm the lead author on this study. I work in Professor Jean Fletcher's Translation Luminology Lab in Trinity College, Dublin, Ireland, where we look at immune dysregulation in health and disease. Effective treatment options for patients with hydrodenitis suppurativa are limited and not fully effective. There is a pressing unmet need for improved treatments. In recent years, the anti-diabetic drug metformin has proven to be beneficial in treating some HS patients, but it is not licensed for use in HS, and its mechanism of action in HS isn't known. We compared immune and cellular metabolic profiles of peripheral blood mononuclear cells of HS patients taking metformin to those that were not. We carried out a skin explant model on skin biopsies from HS patients, which we treated with metformin overnight. What we found was that cellular metabolic pathways were dysregulated in HS patients compared to healthy people, which we then found to be restored in patients that were taking metformin. These metformin-treated patients also had reduced inflammatory mediators. We also found that when we treated explants or cells from HS patients overnight using metformin, this resulted in a reduction in inflammatory markers and suppression of cellular metabolic pathways. Our findings suggest that metformin may be inducing these changes via the NLRP3 inflammasome and the AMPK mTOR pathway, which is linked to glycolysis and protein synthesis. This study demonstrates that metformin has anti-inflammatory effects and supports its use as a therapeutic agent in HS. Metformin's effects on immunometabolism suggest that targeting cellular metabolism is a promising therapeutic option in HS. You can read more about our study in the paper. Thank you.